Hello and welcome to Shelter Mode, the premier YouTube channel for shipping container living. In this video, we bring to you an eco-friendly farmhouse in Sao Paulo, Brazil, built from stone rubble and two refrigerated shipping containers. Stay tuned to find out more about this amazing container house. If you are looking for modern floor plans for container homes, a weekly update on case studies for most influential shipping container homes from around the world, plus detailed articles from our building guide for shipping container homes, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for these and more weekly videos. Check out our website sheltermod.com for lots of free resources modern floor plans and blueprints. If you like our videos plus our valuable content on shipping container living, feel free to support our channel on Patreon through the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. This house belongs to the Borges family and is located in the interior of Sao Paulo on a 350 hectare farm. The client wanted a house that is sizable and optimizes the concept of lightness without interfering with the landscape. Shipping containers were selected as a suitable material for such a house. The containers are elevated on masonry walls on both ends of the shipping containers creating a free space underneath. The house is built from two refrigerated shipping containers plus an additional space built in masonry using stones and demolished bricks harvested on the farm, creating a total of 130 square meters of habitable space. Two ensuite bedrooms are accommodated inside the two reefer containers. The ends of the corridor are closed off using wooden shutters. The original container cargo doors in the bedrooms are removed and the space fitted with wooden framed sliding glass doors protected by wooden shutters on the outside. There is an additional space on the opposite end of the containers built with masonry to accommodate open plan living with the lounge area, a dining space, the kitchen and service areas. The gap between the shipping containers and the masonry wall is closed off with full height wooden framed sliding glass doors on both ends. The finishes on the house were selected to create warmth and respond to the building's environment. The house is finished with Kumaru floor in the dry areas and hydraulic tiles in the kitchen and the dining. The end walls of the containers facing the living room are clad with a mosaic of basalt stones to create some contrast against the bright tone. Of paint. A wooden pool deck from the living room connects to an infinity swimming pool positioned on the facade facing the valley. The cup hall from their workshop made all the furniture in the house on the farm by sustainably recycling the fallen trees on the farm to make all the furniture. The ceiling and the wall of the container reefer in the girls' bedroom are painted white. The couple loves the original finishes of the container reefer. In this regard, the master bedroom was left in its original stainless steel lining and exposed steel piping for electrical wiring. A big glass window with external wooden shutters is positioned at a vantage height across the bed 
in the master bedroom to open up panoramic views of the landscape even from the comfort of the bed. The front porch is covered with Portuguese mosaic flooring which marries nicely with the rough stone on the front wall. A similar finish is also used on the outdoor terrace from the side of the living room. The exposed wooden rafters on the roof above the living space introduces some modern vibe to the roof design. A wooden bench on the left stretches the entire length of the plaza to provide vantage views of the landscape and also function as a guardrail. The space under the containers allows for airflow to keep the containers cool and prevent condensation inside the containers. The space under the containers has concrete steps which are used as a children play area and also serves as an outdoor dining space for the family. The basement space under the house was turned into a sauna and a guest bedroom. All the windows and door frames plus the wooden shutters are made from recycled wood obtained from fallen trees on the farm. The containers are partially covered with evergreen climbers to help in the thermal insulation, especially during the hot summer season. On the outside, the containers are painted bright orange, similar to the cane harvesters on the farm to create some contrast against the rough stone and brick masonry extension. This great combination of exterior finishes creates a modern family home that stands out without interfering with the landscape. We love everything about this sustainable container home. From the design concept to the choice of building materials and the quality of finishes on the entire house make this small family home stunning. Which part of this container home appeals to you the most? Give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe and If you love shipping container homes or you are planning on building one, our YouTube channel is a one-stop shop for a complete guide on how to design, how to build, how to insulate, and a collection of hundreds of blueprints for container homes designs. In addition, we also cover case studies of the best homes made from shipping containers from around the world. For this and more, Feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing weekly videos. You can also contact us on our website sheltermode.com or follow us on social media platforms through the links in the description below.